Hey, it's the Flea Market Falcon here. What I do is I soar high above the swap meet and then I'm swooping in to scoop up the deals. Let's see what we can find this week. How's it going? Good, thank you. You got these Batman cards here. Yeah. Someone paid money to have these graded? I think so. This one's a one out of 10. It's all creased up and mint condition. This wouldn't be worth anything, so I don't get it. Ooh, mystery games for Game Boy Advance. They don't have labels, no idea what those could be. Would you take $2 for the three mystery games? Sure. All right, so they're probably not great, but we'll find out later in the video. Ooh, strategy guides. And these are a buck each. Oh, awesome. Not really sure if these have value, but couldn't pass them up for that price. Got the Tomb Raider guides, Final Fantasy VIII guide, which also includes the PC. I've never seen one this small before for a Final Fantasy VIII guide. I could have used that back in the day. I played this when it first came out and then put it aside for like eight years and then booted up my save file and finally beat it. But I could have used this guide, you know, back when the game first came out. And then I doubt these EverQuest ones have value, but I grabbed these anyways too. All these cassettes right here, some pretty good ones, Danzig, Wasp, Motorhead, these compilation ones. Two of the best Iron Maiden albums right there. This Tool CD is collectible, but he wants just a little bit too much for it. Hey. What's up? Would you do 40 on all the tapes? I would meet you in the middle. I, I would do 50 on what I had left. Uh-huh. Would you do this one for 10 bucks if I grab those? No. Nah. Yeah, I could have done that. Yeah. So why don't we do 45 and take them? Uh, all right, that's good. All right. So good deal there, basically paid about a dollar per tape. When I buy in bulk, I don't like to spend that much, but these are good titles, so definitely worth it. More cassettes over here. I collect movie soundtracks. Very happy to find Cobra. Sweet. 10 bucks? Yeah. Cool. The whole thing, yeah. In this case right here is double-sided, so more right here. Led Zeppelin 3, nice. We got this Journey one, the case is slightly melted. I remember as a kid, my friend left his Nirvana in utero cassette in his old brother's car, and it melted just like that, and he was very upset. I, you have the Zelda here, could you do better on that price? Oh my gosh, you know. Do you know what that's worth right now? Uh, no, tell 100 me. Bucks. Uh -huh. It's a hundred dollar game right now. It uh -huh. fluctuates between 100 to 128 a week. Uh -huh. I, I got a price chart, I, uh -huh. I check them out. And... So it's a Kmart exclusive one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It okay, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> Blue light special. Yeah. Remember in the 80s, they used to go, man, they used to have some good food. Oh, yeah? Oh, yes. <laughs> now, this was in the 80s. I remember yeah. the 90s one had uh, Little Caesars. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. But now they had their own restaurant in the early 80s. Yeah. I like remember, hot dogs and stuff like that. I'm from Kentucky. So, yeah. Uh, but I remember going when they had, uh, yeah, good days. So $50 for that Zelda is a pretty good deal. But I already own that game, and I'm not that hardcore of a GameCube collector where I need to own the variant Kmart one also. Like Got clothes top over top. here, t-shirts, $2. Found this Hooters Happy Holidays. Yeah, that one's actually a vintage t-shirt. Yeah. 1992. Oh, sorry, I learned from Roscoe's Hill Train, single stitch is an indicator that a shirt is old, where newer shirts have the double stitching on the sleeve. And t-shirts are two bucks? Um, I was thinking five for that one, but I could go with maybe three. I'll do three. Okay. Ooh, they also have this Mickey Mouse, the band concert t-shirt, official okay. Disney. I'll definitely buy this also. Do cool cigarettes still exist? Here's some playing cards. Ooh, and right here they have a Bob's Burgers Monopoly. Pretty cool. How much on the games here? Oh, let's see. Um... This one, 10. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, this Monopoly one is the one I was interested in. The Boss Burgers? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's. I'm thinking maybe 15. Okay. Uh, I'll pass on that, but would you take a buck for the cards? Um, those are kind of. You know, yeah. 
Okay, well thank you anyways. Yeah. You want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? It's this cart right here. Let's see if my comic book guy has any deals today. Hey! God! <laughs> and you filmed it, you jerk. <laughs> So got a good deal there, and that's a little flea market tip. If you want to get a good bargain, make sure to startle the vendor. Give me a good price on all these, a bunch of Catwoman, some sets, some older comics right here. Pretty sweet. And he even threw in the new sealed WWE 2K20. Now at the Silver Moon Drive-In Flea Market. Hello, how Hello. much on the games? It depends on which one you pick out. Evil Dead, um, Time Splitters, going to be a little bit more than some of the other ones. Uh -huh. Mega Demand, Cell, Damage, that's a real rare one too. As far as I remember, that's not actually very rare. Yeah, so looked up Cell Damage, sells for $8.59 with free shipping. Never take the vendor's word for what's rare and what's not rare. <laughs> How much on the Evil Dead and Simpsons? Oh, uh, Evil Dead and Simpsons. I would do 30 bucks on both. How much just for Evil Dead? Evil Dead, 25. Most I could really do is $10. Okay, thank you, thanks anyway. So when vendors charge eBay prices, it kind of defeats the purpose of coming to the flea market in the first place. Got a bunch of DVDs over here. So this guy was sitting here scanning everything, but somehow missed out on Martyrs. I do not like this movie, but it has a resale value, so I'll grab that. And this Toy Machine skate video right here. So I'm not trying to rag on people who scan everything too badly, but it's better to just know what to look for. For instance, this one, for whatever reason he passed up on, uh, this sells for like $20, $25. And Psycho Gorman, I'm buying this for myself. Fantastic movie right here. Games, here at Marble Mania, I'll grab that one. Barbie Horse Adventures. For some reason on PlayStation 2, that game used to be hard to find and valuable, but not this one. Ooh, this is tempting right here. I love some flea market cheese. These buck sets are $3. I'll grab this brand new sealed one right here. An instructional DVD here. Advanced Concealed Carry. I don't think they should trust Gary BC with a gun. So he has a whole bin of these promo CDs, which actually do have value, but he knows they have value. So I don't know if I can get a great price on these, but let's try. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good. How would you ask in on these CDs right here, this whole bin? Which ones? That there, the mixed stuff? Yeah. I was just talking to somebody about those. Yeah. But they sell pretty good online if you're selling them online. Yeah. Uh, I'd be like 50 bucks on the whole bin. What do you do, 30? 35. Let's go with that. I should be able to do that. It looks a lot of these up. These sell yeah. 8, 10, 12 bucks a piece on some of those things. Uh -huh. I got them all kind of separated. It's like all, you know, this many of this. When you get into these types, I had them all. So then people move them around a little bit. Stuff and fucking scratch wood and shit. No. <laughs> That's all I was worried about that. Well, maybe. I don't know. Because it's on a disc. It's hard, hard to... Right, right. So they wouldn't have scratched the disc, but there's a chance they played the CD and then had kind of like a record just to make scratch noises on. Right. CD, you know, spins around too. Yeah. No, no, I don't think they're scratching nah, the CD. Spins a lot <laughs> Sometimes you sit out here, you got a little bit too, too much time to think, but. Yeah. All right, 35 is good. So hopefully I'll do good on these. They seem to be UK imports. I don't really know too much about them. Okay, so there's Mystery Game Boy Advance games. This one right here is Dragon Ball Z, The Legacy of Goku 2. I don't know much about it, but it looks like it might be fun, and it seems to be pretty rare, uh, so that's pretty cool right there. This one is Spyro Season of Ice. Uh, that one seems like it could be fun. And this one right here, I couldn't get to work. So this video is almost at an end, unfortunately, but there is some sweet bonus footage. I found it very funny. I think you'll like it too. Make sure to like and subscribe, leave me a comment, 
You can also join my Patreon, which is linked down below. And I'll see you next time around. Okay. I've been curious. I you know, I watch game shows a lot. Yeah. And they give away these uh, trips to these uh, island resorts. Uh huh. And I just don't find. And I don't. I just don't find anything fun about an island resort because everybody, everybody uh, wants to go to the beach. Uh -huh. I, I don't understand it. Uh. Well, it's relaxing and nice and relaxing. It's cooler there. Yeah. Well, you know what my version of relaxing is. Don't say sitting in your underwear and cruising the internet. Well, it's sitting in my underwear while uh, sitting, uh, laying down on my recliner chair and watching TV. Oh, so I was close. I was very close. Yeah. I knew it involved you in your underwear. <laughs> of course. Yeah. You know, you gotta start doing that. Sitting around in my underwear? Yeah. Maybe I will. I'll come to the flea market in my underwear. No, that you can't do that. Oh, no. But watch this. He's got it filmed. Oh, good Lord. He got a teeth brusher. He can't believe it over here. He's saying, what in the world? <laughs> do you see this, sir, with the glasses? He's brushing his teeth at the flea market. <laughs> Can you believe this, sir? Look. Have you ever seen a guy brush his teeth at the flea market? What the heck? He's like, I don't know. Uh, it's two minutes long. <laughs> and he, he felt my YouTube guy <laughs> filming. You should take it out of your mouth while you talk. You really can. You're not hurting Dental care is very important. Yes, absolutely. Like this proves that you can brush your teeth anywhere and not just the bathroom. Yeah, he's proving a point right now. I know he is. A stupid point. <laughs> I brush your white teeth. Uh oh. Ah. Uh oh. Ah.